Just give me a second here. I don't want my buddies to ding-dong ditch me. Hey, there he it's is. It's the big guy himself. Finally. You look good. You're losing weight? You know I'm gonna make you go home and get it if you forgot. I've got a bottle of chert spit in my pocket, all right. I bless you, my son. Milo, Lola, meet Chernobyl, Dark Minister of the Seventh Circle. Yeah, hi. Morgan, the Black Fiend of the High Seas. Pleasure. Vitala, <laughs> the spirit of disease and intestinal issues. Nice to... you know, whatever. And Chad, from Kingston, Ontario. How's it going? Yeah, uh, fine. Hey, yeah, it's, uh, it's going. Going somewhere, at least. Where it'll land, who knows. Card game set up. Wait, we're just... This will take two minutes, you... You're dark cleanest. We just wanna... Oh, wait! You're the two that are going to make a run at the big guy, right? Do the drinking contest. What? My last shit weighs more than both of you put together. And she had just eaten three people, so... Oh, yeah. I read about you on Bicker. Gyro and Cola, right? <laughs> hey, we're here by mistake, okay? So there's no need for poop-related insults. Children. Look now, I am your humble servant, truly. I worshipped your pores while you were still in the womb. But you don't know what soup you're ordering here. We can do it, okay? How do we... how do we show you that we can... Who the fuck is texting me right... Oh, good gravy, it's Bezel still on me about those unholy reports. But what do you expect? The guy can't turn off. Polly was crawling up my butt too tonight, preaching about God knows what. Hmm. Actually... Ah! Okay, I've developed a notion. Milo, Lola, you can help me out. You can help me out and prove you can handle our little, uh, test of endurance. Interested? Um, sure. Okay, what, what is it? Track down my brothers and sisters, the original monarchs. Apollon, Esmodius, Beelzebub, Onoskelis, the fallen angels, like me. And outdrink them first. This way you'll be granting me a small favor. You'll be getting them temporarily off my behind, while also proving you can party with beings who view stars as rushlights. And until you do, I'll be playing gin rummy in the parlor. <sighs> I feel like I'm being forced to take my driver's test all over again, but sure, if we have to. It's a golden fiddle? Huh. It says on the plaque that John of Patmos could indeed play very well, but Charlie Daniels made up the rest. Huh. Interesting. All right. One more time. For anyone whose mother just came in the room and asked them to take out the trash. If you get just two out of four monarch seals of approval on this magical and convenient parchment, then I'll ignore my friends and let you try to, as they say, out-party me. And then we'll see how special my little rumping, jumping generals truly are. Any other queries before I get annihilated? Please say no. Um, how, how do we die, anyway? Unfortunately, that's not my department. I, uh, don't shepherd collections. But maybe my sister Polly can assist you with your query. I'll be seeing you. There was a lot to unpack there. Those friends of his were total cocks! Seriously, Chad? Like, what the hell was that? Whatever, let's not lose focus. How hard could it be to get two recommendations? I mean, I got five for my college applications, but uh, we have no idea where these monarchs are or how to find them. Oh, you know who would know? 
No fucking Sam. Let's call her cab and ask her about it. Wow. You guys are d good. Thank you, dearie. Ha 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 ha. We learned everything we know from Marie Laveau and Mother Suspiriorum. <laughs> And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the Devil. That was one of the only lines of the Bible I remember, from Revelations. Looks like Satan took it as a compliment. Go all the way to the bottom or take the long way. Express, please. The full ride. You got it. Going back down. Yeah, Fornius already told me. I don't think I can make it. Give me a break, Sam. That's... You can make it. What the shit else are you doing tonight? Hey, what's going on? You guys going home? What happened? I'll see you later, Sam. Yep, see ya. We, uh, we need to start finding some demons called the... Uh, the Monarchs, I guess? The Monarchs? We said... Satan said there were four of them. That we should find two and out drink them first, because... Because... Actually, I don't really... I don't really know. I think he was just trying to get rid of us. Oh no, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, and, uh... Apollyon? Yeah, Apollyon. Okay. Well... Oh no was here earlier tonight, but she just went on vacation, so... That one's no bueno. And Polly, she used to be a grand judge of the dead, but has since sort of retired. She's usually at the, uh, the Sealed Knot. It's a demons-only pub. Okay, what about the other one? Asmodeus, <laughs> Al's going through some shit. Some people have lost weekends. This guy's having kind of a lost decade. But whenever you want to head out, just let me know. We will head. Want to try for Asmodeus, huh? All right. Thrall City, all aboard. I might as well give you some exposition. The fellas and fillies you're trying to out-booze, the monarchs, they were originally angels of the highest order, seraphim. They'd fly around God's throne all day, telling him how great he is, and, and sometimes they'd fight intergalactic, interdimensional beings from other planes of existence trying to alter reality. Wait, what? Yeah, they left that part out of most Bibles, but anyways. One day they got sick of being happiness fluffers for the big I am, and decided they deserve some sort of, uh, profit sharing. So they revolted, led by Satan, of course. He was called Morningstar back then. But the Archangels, God's SEAL Team 6, had the equivalent of frigging nukes with God's holy radiation, and the Great War for the Stars lasted as long as a hamburger with a, uh, with a, uh, like a, like a really big fat person. Because the, because the hamburger would get eaten fast. Did that, does that read? God sounds like kind of a jerk. If I can say that here. Hey, you can say whatever the heck fire you want about God now. It's one of the benefits of already being damned. But don't judge him too harshly. People will kill the world before they give up air conditioning. And you think he's gonna share creation? No way. Hey, so what's over- Light seeking light doth light of light beguile. That was written by the Earl of Southampton's mistress. Any of you heard of it? This ain't a game show, so it's not like you lose money. And it's from Love's Labor Lost. Well, firstly, you don't know it, since it's love's labor is lost, and second, you know it because you were in the stupid thing. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I was. Yeah, and the girl you were in it for ended up dating your understudy. Oh yeah, she did. I only bring up this uh, personality calcifying event because Asmodeus is going through some similar stuff. So you shouldn't really mention anything like, like love or relationships or like uh, doing it or having hope for your uh, future sexual lives, anything like that. Maybe, uh, maybe we can, we can help it. You cannot help anyone down here, all right? I repeat, you cannot help anyone. Just out drink the son of the bitch and help yourselves. Just like Sally Mitchell helped herself to your understudy's mouth. Okay, now, now We look. got it. Avoid touchy-feely, stick to the party hardy. Hey, party shardy works too. You're wearing the right underwear. Alrighty, welcome to Thrall City. It's like if 14th century Europe invented the skyscraper. How could a continent invent anything? Out Australia and bent killer birds that kick you to death, Lola. A, a lot of evolution and luck, okay? Now, look, just when you find Asmodeus, don't, don't harsh the vibe. He's real big on having a good time. The cassowary, that, that's what you were talking about. <sighs> Did you hear her, Lola? <laughs> don't harsh the vibe. Oh, give me a, the Gulag Archipelago is an important book, all right? And I didn't know that Tim was on shrooms that time. Why do you even have that as an audiobook? Because I jog, okay? It's called multitasking. Bye! That's so funny. I totally forgot I was in that play. Sally Mitchell, she played, uh, Rosalind. I don't think I said one word to her outside of the script. Ugh, it's, a, it's annoying remembering how, how bad I was at it. Dating or, or anything social. Not that I... Not that I would be much better down here. Yeah, you didn't... You were the best at making female friends who wouldn't mind boning you. Yeah, I guess that'll always be a mystery. What it's like to grow old with someone. Your grace needs not fear it. That's the only line from the play I remember. I guess Feisty's is a chain. Wanna head in? Huh, looks like it's closed. Oh, you're right. It looks like that one permanently shuttered dimples near our housing where that weird cat lives in. Want to get a tattoo? I thought you wanted like a, an aardvark design or something. Yeah, maybe if we get home I'll want to commemorate my love of those lovable insect eaters, but I'd be a little nervous of what a hell tattoo. Hey, this looks like a cool bar. This. <laughs> and so I told Frank, I said, listen, I don't care about the metrics. Just tell me what we should be doing better. He's so whipped by marketing. Hey. You notice you just put your boot heel through my friend's skull? Oh, sorry, kid. I didn't see you down there. It's... I'm good. I once had my foot run over by a paper boy, so I, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> okay. You're new, right? Are you on Baker yet? Yes, for sake's sake. You're not at a convention. <laughs> what? Conversion and retention, man. It'll get Beelzebub off my ass. Sorry, I'm Beth. Short for Behemoth. I'm Director of Operations for Baker. You just love to say the full title, don't you? <laughs> I'm still getting used to it. Baker's been kind of helpful for us, actually. I wasn't on any social media while I was alive, but that's only because on Earth it gives you soul cancer. Yeah, we're still rolling out our feature set, so Earth's a little ahead of us. Sorry, Beth, but they're not going to hold our table forever. They will for me, but all right, see you guys around. Get on Baker and direct yell at me. I'll promote your sins, okay? Have a good night, kids. Uh, pardon, pardon me, uh, but we would like to get into the... This bar? 
Yeah, fat chance. The cellar is an exclusive lounge and haven for serious reprobates only. You gotta score less than 20% on your shame and scruples. If you have even a hint of compunction or moral fortitude in you, you can walk your ass down to the Waffle House. Sounds, uh, scary. Is, there, is it mostly demons in there, or...? Oh, no, we don't discriminate. It's a healthy mix of murderers and madmen. A lot of chalice, actually, which, uh, surprised me. But maybe you should try Club Skull. They're more happy-go-lucky, if you catch my drift. He might be in here. I mean, it looks crazy. Skull. Sounds promising, eh? Oh, so you're gonna tell me you weren't dancing with him, huh? That guy was all over you! Okay, that guy didn't even have a head, so he, like, barely counts, biologically speaking. This place looks like a real meat market, but, uh, the meat is What? Spelled. I can't hear you over the music! Yeah, but this place is a real meat market, though, right? If, if meat was spelled... Let's just find Asmodeus. Maybe he's on the dance floor. Yeah, it's spelled like the, like the food. Two reparias for two lovebirds. Oh, we're not lovers. I treat her more like a mannequin I built to demean. And he looks like my dad, so I get to work out my more wholesome fantasies. Sounds good, kids. Have fun. Hey, kids, what'll it be? Uh, uh, Bluebeard's last wife? Try not to drink and dance. It's a pain to clean up the floor. VIP section. You'll notice by the fact you can't enter. Can't we just pop in for a minute? Every second you sit there would depreciate the seat's value. Well, that's... it's hard to argue with, really. Whoa, hey! Asmodeus, seriously, I'll take whatever uppers you got. <laughs> Balio! We know you have a stash of Pujari teeth, Al. You've... 
Well, you designed the lava pit the cartel burns in. Now, you've been having a rough time of it recently. We know, but... <laughs> I'm on leave. So it's not my job anymore. Look up staycation. That's, that's what it... You'll see a picture of me. This is it. Hey, that's a big guy. The monarch, Asmodeus. Let's follow him. Make, uh, make friends with him, not them. On leave? What are you, fucking Swedish? I need drugs! My husband doesn't know he can't fix the toaster. Then I need to get high enough to pretend he can. Get a divorce then. Or a drink. That's where I'm going. Father Drag makes a great term gate shake. You should have one. Hey y'all, we're here at Club Skull and we're gonna make sure to keep it bumping all night. I said all night long. What'll it be? One and from remember, Beard's last the wife, dance please. contest sure is ongoing, but so I sign up with me, Murmur, right here at the DJ booth. I'm not allowed to leave, I don't even have legs really, so feel free to come by anytime. Hey, Uncle Al, how's the vacation been? Great, great. I've been, you know, I hate the phrase, taking a little me time. But I guess it's better than saying I've been just dicking around, missing the life I used to have. Cool, cool. What do you want to drink? Ah, uh, shit, I don't know. Uh, know how to make a Marburg sour? Don't have the blood samples. Asmodeus, give me your seal of approval, you scurvy landlubber, so we can scuttle off this doomed voyage. <laughs> My seal of approval? What am I approving? Hey, Uncle Al, the alligator, the ass wagon. You have like 10 hours? I'm taking a bath on a timeshare and need to vent at someone taller than me. Uh, maybe. Just don't get too pissed if I stop you after 10 minutes. Actually, why didn't I see you at salsa dancing last Wednesday? Could we, I'm sorry, could we get like a second with you, Asmodeus? Uh, yeah, kid, just jump right in. We don't raise our hands here to get called on or anything. Hey, sound the alarm because it's- God, I come here to get thrashed, not plan next Thanksgiving dinner. See you later, Al. Kids, keep your head up. Good to see you, Zagan. Uh, I mean, Zephar, sorry. Fuck, names from the third circle all sound Greek to me. Sorry to bother you, uh, Al, but first off, I'm Lola, he's Milo, and we're doing the whole challenge Satan to a drinking contest to escape hell thing, and we really yeah, need- Yeah, 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 you can stop right there. Cause you don't really need anything now, do you? Cause you're in hell. Which means you're dead. And you're kind of a fast talker, and fast talkers spread anxiety like termites. So do me a favor and slow boat it a bit. <laughs> yeah, you're getting my blood pressure up. And I don't even know what your mom looks like. Shiver our timbers. We need the seal, me matey. A storm's a brewin' and can't give any quarter. Yeah, Morningstar already texted me, Squirt. I know you want my seal for the contest. Oh. Father Trek! Two shots of permanent vacation. You wanna you wanna have a drink off right now? Cause I was kinda hoping you'd just make us like clean your gutters or something. Fraccio Panis. We're breaking bread, Lola. Come on, do a shot with me. Let's get to know each other a little. Get those wrinkles off your face. We don't need therapy, Mr. Asmodeus. We just need you to stamp our permission slips. Uh, I disagree. Let's agree to disagree. I really insist. And I sincerely desist. Drink hearty, me mateys. Drink up. Well, the moon is fair like bow-legged, uh, something. Hey, your friend's having fun already. Fine, fine, I'll take a stupid shot if you really fucking think it's so important. When a man drinks, he becomes rich. He wins lawsuits, and he is happy to help his friends. Let's focus on the last part. Oh shit, I feel... This is weird. Is this what lazy people feel like? Cause this is awesome. That's like I'm walking on a shag carpet in my bare feet, but I'm not. Hey, Al. Some folks wanted to know if you can make the death day announcements. Yeah, I'll be the mall Easter Bunny. Hey kids, why don't you two tag along? It won't take long. Not that many people here died this month. Onward off the starboard bow, you scallywag. Yeah, chill out, Milo. Fucking Christ, you'll burn calories. See your friends on holiday time. You should set your watch there, too. You're trying to outdrink Satan, right? Well, you can dream a dream in time gone by. That shit ain't happening. Why not? 
because trying to outdrink a guy going through a breakup is harder than waking up happy. Satan's going through a breakup? With God? Yeah. But also with the lie that life means anything. That shit happened like a hundred millennia ago, and it's still in his head. I don't need to argue, but don't some things matter? Like finally getting that A in gym class after years of practicing line dancing at home. <laughs> Sorry, Milo, but no. Sympathy? Morality? It's a pyramid scheme that only benefits one guy, and you'll never find him in the stables. It's Lucifer looking these days, anyway. He's still up on Welkin Way? Oh yeah, big place. Makes Xanadu look like a bouncy castle. Man, this drink is a trip. I can finally see how boring soup kitchens are now. Uh, all of us. The original monarchs. We all used to live up there. I don't know if you know, Satan and me, yeah, we're still buddies. But the others? Eh. How many death days tonight? Just a few. Don't do the carbon monoxide poisoning. It's not quite over it yet. Okay, uh, Al? Can we just get your signature on this? Uh... And you know another thing about Satan? He really... He was my life rat. When my wife Beth left me, he took me out, wouldn't let me get too down. It was a huge help. And I'll always think kindly of the guy for that, you know? Beth? Does she work at Bicker? We just ran into her outside the significant cellar. Or rather, she ran over me. Really? How did she look? She looked good? She looked good, didn't she? She didn't look bad, did she? She couldn't. My God, the woman could wear anything. Oh, whoa, that shot's wearing off. I feel like I just walked off a plane from Cancun and realized I live in Cleveland. Hey, party demons! We have a very special death day tonight. Rod Bolderat, eaten by a dinosaur 30 million years ago! And yes, people, dinosaurs did exist with humans. Don't believe everything scientists tell you. Asmodeus, uh, about, about that seal? Yeah, my witch doctor slash therapist thinks I'm just burying my pain at Beth leaving by partying all the time. That I'm just perpetuating an endless cycle of self-destruction, ignoring my real trauma. But she still wears Robinson's mate. So what does she know? Let's have a drink, Milo, come on. For Grog. Lola did Hotel Hell. How about you try my own personal cocktail? The unapologetic. Good for what ails you. Um, maybe? Well, I mean, I, I did mine, and it didn't turn out so bad. Yeah, that uh, makes enough sense. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Our lost boy's gonna do it. That's what I like to see. <laughs> Bottoms up. Milo, are you, uh, okay? What the fuck shit happened? What a strange occurrence. Milo and Lola meet Milo's conscience. Milo's conscience meet Milo and Lola. Charmed. Yeah, this ugly fucking loser is my conscience. Uh, is, is Milo, is he, is he gonna be okay? He's better than okay. A conscience. It's just what happens to your ego if it watches too many kid shows with puppets. It's it's radiation growing tumors. We've just made Milo healthy again, without restraint or fear or societal hang-ups. Like putting the seat down just because your wife can't find the light switch at night. What is happy? Get a drink and find out, you little scamp. How can one be happy if others suffer? Instinct pursues procreation, which yet brings more suffering. Hey, Sailor. You look like you blew in on a stiff breeze. Wanna buy me a drink? I listened to some guy pitch me a timeshare and got his VIP seats. As long as you are... are comfortable with the proffer, I... I think I would very much enjoy that, yes. Wait, this little fucking nerd gets picked up like that? I've tried standing around before, it doesn't work. Wormhorn, you got... Come back with that thing. Shouldn't we? Isn't this something we should fix? Isn't it a little scary that my best friend's moral compass is gonna go get blown in the bathroom by our personal demon? All right, kiddos, there's a dance competition that needs tending to downstairs. Wait, what? What about us having a drinking contest for the seal? Hey, I'm a busy party demon. You're fortunate to have stolen five minutes of party time. But look, I'll tell you what. How about instead, you enter the dance off? If you win, I'll give you my seal. It's more fun than drinking. That's what Satan doesn't know. 
Dancing doesn't scare away your friends. Uh, what are what, what are the songs available? You probably don't have any Whitney Houston, right? Only her cover of You Light Up My Life. Fuck. We need to get his wife Beth here. It's obvious he's covering old wounds. He's like me after Pilates. If we can if we can get them back together, he'll surely give us the <laughs> Fuck that, and fuck him, and fuck her, and fuck you, Lola. You think I'm gonna help some fat demon get laid tonight? Let's just beat his ass in a dancing competition. Make him surrender the damn seal with our fucking puma legs. What the hell are you talking about? I don't wanna help others. I had the hardest time getting girls on Earth. And now you want me to be some marriage counselor to one of Satan's drop testicles? Okay, fine, American psycho. We'll do the damn dance off. That's what I'm talking about, motherfucker! That's... He's gonna regret poking the beehive, man. This is brilliant. This is not good. God, Lola, you should get a shot of this. Seriously, it's... It'll really melt all your stupid insecurities into the fucking toilet. I'm not doing it. One of us needs to worry about stains on their pants. What the hell with stains? I'm talking about trying to... Humans are bungled and botched hordes, Lola. I'm really seeing that now. The trivial majority that... A plague superior men with... Like that chick in that play. Why did I want to date that girl? It's a... It's a slave morality. Right? You can get everything you want from life out of prostitutes. And talk to the TV when there's characters on it you like. Huh? Yep, yeah, yep, that's uh... You're really hitting all the nails on the head here. I'm just saying, you're half yourself when you're with somebody. It's just... That's just math. You know, Beth left Asmodeus, freaking loser, for her job. And that's what you gotta do. Make something other than dumb memories or idiot children. Marriage with kids is just future alimony and burning a 70-year-old's life's worth of natural resources. It's downright immoral. Abstinence and selfishness. That, that leads to success. Milo, I might agree with this pessimistic worldview. God knows I love a downer conversation. But when you say it so forcefully, it's a pretty big turnoff. Well, sometimes the truth needs to be spoken with effort. Oh, what evil bureaucrat said that, huh? Judge Doom? Want to reload? I regret this, but I'll have a literally acid. Enjoy yourself. Inside Milo can't be too easy. I've seen that guy's sexual hang-ups. <sighs> People rightly feel shame after sex, for sex brings new shame into the world. Yeah, but only if you forget to wrap it up. So, first date questions. Um, <clears throat> well, what's your, like, sign, anyway? Um, year of the dog? Does that, is that what you would want? Honestly, <laughs> don't tell anyone this. It only affects your time of the month. Speaking of which, actually, it's so funny. I binge watch shows all the time, too. I didn't know anybody else used that term. Binge. <laughs> it's so naughty. Well, I don't know about that. It's just a poetically accurate phrase for consuming entertainment at an unsustainable rate. Hey. Yes? Let me in there. Are you on the list, sir? Because if you want, I'll have to ask you to leave the immediate area. Hmm. <laughs> Fuck you. You're mean and it's upsetting me. What can I say, man? Your morality thermometer just likes me better. He doesn't like you better. He's just young and stupid and is attracted to wounded souls. I do. I guess I do have a, a type. Hey, that's my conscience you're talking about. That little moron's perfect, like me. Shush, shush. We'll find another way around. Just a little 411 for y'all. The Syrian queen hasn't come in tonight. She usually hangs out with the Bourbon Kings in poopy pants land. 
formerly known as Schittsburg, before those evil toddlers took over. Hey! What? We're entering the goddamn competition, Mother Trucker. Ooh, somebody's confident. A hundred million miles an hour, baby. I live for this shit. You think anyone's got anything on me? You think any of these freaks got my cavalcade of moves? Okay, wait. Just put your name down on the dotted line and don't leave. We'll text you when you're ready to go on. Okay, this is real now, so I know you're gonna have issues with this, but please, for me, can we get your conscience back first? What? No way! Milo, you need a particle of self-awareness to dance well at all. I know you think you're the greatest thing since sliced bread right now, but trust me, you want a little bit holding you back. I wanna win, damn it! But I also wanna feel unrestrained. But unrestrained dancing is sports arena dancing, and that dancing sucks. It's a, it's a conundrum is what it is. Milo, come on, you know it's the right thing to do. You're always, always with the good points, Lola. You're a smart cookie. I'm not afraid to admit that. Let's do it. Though I think he went downstairs to the VIP section with Wormhorn. Fuck that guy! Okay, just so, I... Why are you always yelling now? Because everyone should hear what I have to say. <sighs> I want the top to be optimistic, but it's hard in the current political climate. Which climate is that? Is McDonald's still a PM? I mean political, more in the sense of, uh, of community? Solipsism seems... rampant. <laughs> Life's like a box of chocolates or whatever. Listen, you got any blow? I don't believe I do. Statues. That's, uh, unfortunate. <laughs> Ooh, that little... The bouncer thinks he got the best of me. Of us? He's got another thing coming. I can see straight down on that asshole's head from here. Great. How does that help us? It, it doesn't. I can't believe I'm saying this, but maybe if you were drunker, you'd get an idea. I already have all the best ideas, like a pair of jeans you can exercise in. Well, it's actually a good one. Ooh, that little... The bouncer thinks he got the best of me. Of us? But he's got another thing coming. I can see straight down on that asshole's head from here. Great. How does that help us? I'm a living symbol of triumph! Oh, what the fuck are you... Cheese and rice, are you kidding me? You really shattered your pelvis just to get your dull-faced insecurities back? That was really unsafe, Milo. Get the... Give me a... Give me a... Give me a minute here. Sure. Get the hell out of my face, Wormhorn. I'm not fucking around with you. Fine. Fine. I'm not gonna embarrass you, Milo. I'm not going to drag this little mistake of evolution into the sewers with me and turn him into a real man. Even though I could, I'm just gonna give you this one. You know why I'm giving you this one? Because things... Good idea, mate. I don't know why nobody thought to do that before. Permission to come aboard. Milo, are you are you all right? Right, dead right as rain, I think. I'm concerned about pandas again, so I think I'm doing okay. Oh, thank God. Fear is a lubricant to success. Is something I wish I'd never said now. <laughs> Guess, I guess it's time. Wish I could get a few minutes to just, like, lie down for a second. But I was really passionate about love being a total croc, huh? Yeah, whatever. We can psychoanalyze your spirit quest later. You gotta dance your face off right now. I will be there, not dancing, wanna be clear about that, but very much cheering you on. Alright, let's, let's do it. <laughs> 